Stan Gibalisco here. Um, I'd like to just continue uh, with the discussion that I uh, did in the previous video of resistor power dissipation and how we can calculate that. In the example, uh, in that video, I showed a 100 ohm resistor. If you place 10 volts across that resistor, then the power that that resistor is called upon to dissipate is the voltage squared divided by the resistance, or 100 over 100, or 1. If contrarywise, or, well, actually not contrarywise, the exact same situation but portrayed in a different way, if you run 100 milliamps through that resistor, or a tenth of an amp, then the power that dissipates is the square of the current in amperes times the resistance in ohms, or 0.1 squared, which is 0.01, times 100, which is 1 watt. 1 watt. Then I said, we ought to incorporate some kind of an over-engineering buffer. Over-engineering. We don't want to subject this resistor to its full rated 1 watt. Then supposing that this is a resistor rated at 1 watt, and that's not too uncommon. You'll find them. They're a couple of millimeters in diameter, generally, um, and about, oh, maybe 10, 6, 8, or 10 millimeters long, cylindrical in shape, with axial leads. So you'll get a resistor, uh, 1 watt, 100 ohms, 10 volts will give you 1 watt, 100 milliamps through it will also give you 1 watt. And then I went on to say we ought to incorporate some kind of an over-engineering buffer. That really we only ought to subject it to about 70% or so of its rating. Well, uh, maybe if you're astute you would have become a little bit skeptical of that when I said how about 7 volts or 70 milliamperes. Remember, the formulas for those calculations. Let's start over here. Here once again is our resistor. 100 ohms rated at 1 watt. Well suppose that we put 7 volts through that resistor. Then the power that it will dissipate is 7 squared divided by 100 equals 49 one hundredths or 491 thousandths or 0 0.49 watts 490 milliwatts. That's not 70 percent of its rated one watt that's only 49% of its one uh, rated 1 watt. So actually, we can put a little more than 7 volts across here. And I invite you to manipulate the formula P equals E squared over R. Remember that formula? The power equals the voltage squared over the resistance. I invite you to manipulate that formula and find out exactly what voltage we can put across here to get 700 milliwatts, or 7 tenths of a watt, as power dissipation for it. Let's also now look at the current situation. I said suppose, not the current situation meaning right now, the current situation meaning uh, electron or uh, charge carrier flow through the resistor. Of course you knew that. I'm just being a wise guy. I like to do that. Sorry. I've still got all my teeth, even though I'm a wise guy. Go figure. Anyway, 70 ohms, or pardon me, 70 milliamps. Uh, se <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself here. 700, uh, 70 milliamps, yes. Suppose that we, instead of 100 milliamps, we only put 70 milliamps through here. That is... 0 0.070 amperes. Now suppose that we go ahead and square that. What we're going to get, 
power equals current squared times resistance equals 0 0.07 times 0 0.07 that is um, oh my my I'm getting way ahead of myself here um, uh, 0 0.07 squared is 0.00 Four nine is that not right? Times one hundred p equals i squared times r equals zero point four nine watts. Once again, only forty nine percent of its rated tolerance. So I uh, I think you probably already have an idea what the uh, allowable current would be to get uh, point seven watts across this resistor, but when I talked about a, an over-engineering uh, buffer, uh, I talked about a 70% figure for the voltage or the current, which would work out to a 49% figure for the power, but really I meant a 49% figure for the power. So I was actually wrong when I said 7 volts or, uh, or 70 milliamps. I was completely off the mark, uh, almost by a, a factor of two. It was really a pretty significant, well, by a factor of the square root of two. So, but that is the difference here. The, the uh, whole point of this, though, is that there's my test, uh, test marks. These are little calligra cal calligraphic, is that how you pronounce it? pens that I got at the office supply store today on a writing tablet that I got hoping to make a little bit better video quality and I was very very vigilant about whether or not that stuff would bleed through to the next page. I didn't want that to happen. And note, I don't know if you can see these little quadrille marks on here, they're very faint. But they help me to write straight. That's always cool. See how straight I write? Anyway, that's the deal. Over-engineering is always a good thing. You uh, generally want to allow about a 30%, 25% margin for, uh, not error, but just safety. Margin of safety. Stan Gibalisco, from the Black Hills of Dakota Territory, United States of America. Until next time, so long.